They're very cooperative. They're happy with me. So I see no need to use guns. And we're in New Hampshire where a bunch of people carry guns. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You feed the ponies? Is this socialism? What's going on here? Well, they earn their feet. I mean, she is earning it today. But yes, because these ponies, this pony is my property, I take care of it. And I want my property to, you know, stay healthy and, and continually to increase in value if at all possible. So there's my financial incentive for me. And my pony is cute. And I want to keep her cute, so I feed her. I don't feed her too much. I don't want her getting fat because she won't be quite so cute. So now when you say you own the pony, is it a form of slavery or currency? Well, um, probably a little of both if you were to uh, really uh, think about it. Because, um, you know, the pony does, you know, pretty much kind of got to do what I tell her. When I put a saddle on her and I walk around and let little kids ride her, I mean, I'm not really asking her for her permission. I'm just doing it. So, I mean, she, she likes it, though. She gets, like, carrots. Um, we try not to feed her too much birthday cake when we go to birthday parties with her. Because, you know, we're concerned about diabetes and government subsidized sugar at the birthday cake. But, uh, the, um... <laughs> and uh, oh, what was oh currency? Yes, currency. I mean, if it got really bad, you know, we could all eat for a good week if we had to cook the pony. So yes, she's very valuable currency. Uh, but the uh, cuteness factor of, of the pony really negotiates the uh, meat factor. So that's why people rather eat cows because they're not as cute as ponies. So in this.